Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Electric. Today we are going to break down a fundamental concept in electrical engineering, inductors. Whether you are a student or prepping for an interview, understanding inductors is key. So let's get started. First things first, what exactly is an inductor? An inductor is a passive electrical component that stores energy in a magnetic field when electric current flows through it. Think of it like a sponge soaking up water but instead of water it's storing energy. Now you might be wondering how does this actually work. Imagine you are riding a bike if you try to speed up suddenly you full up pull back right that's inertia. Inductors work similarly they resist changes in current. So if you suddenly increase the current the inductor will oppose that change by generating a voltage in the opposite direction. This property is called inductance and it's measured in Henry's. So where do we find inductors in the real world? Here are a few common applications. Power supplies, they smooth out the output voltage. Transformers, inductors are key components in transformers allowing for voltage conversion. And radio frequency applications, they help tune circuits to specific frequencies. Before we wrap up, let's go over some key terms you should know. Inductance, the ability of an inductor to store energy measured in Henry's. Magnetic field, the area around the inductor where magnetic force can be detected. Self-induction, when an inductor creates a voltage due to a change in its own current. Mutual induction, when a change in current in one inductor induces a voltage in another nearby inductor. Let's make it even more relatable. Think of a light dimmer switch. When you slowly adjust the dimmer, the inductor helps prevent the light from flickering. It makes the change smooth and gradual. And that's a wrap on inductors. I hope this video helped clarify what they are and how they work. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content and let us know in the comments what topics you would like us to cover next. Until next time, keep exploring the exciting world of electrical engineering.